If you're building an air-cooled PC, you're gonna need the right airflow to cool your system. Making sure that your fans push and pull air properly in your case is a very important part of cooling, especially on an air-cooled build. Now this is the Fractal North XL, and I also have a Height Y70 that we're gonna look at, but this is a pretty standard case design. And I'm just gonna go over the concepts of how I'm gonna design my airflow in this case. So the front of the case here has three 140 millimeter fans, which is excellent for air intake. Now these fans are going to pull air in through the front. So we have air that's gonna be traveling this way. Now the Fractal Designs North XL has a lot of different fan mounting configurations, sizes, and capabilities as well as radiators but we're not going to be talking about radiators as this is focused on air cooling you can mount fans on the top here 120 140 and 180 millimeter you can mount fans right here a 120 140 and you can also mount fans down here as well now we have air coming in this way so we don't want to pull air in this way because then we're going to have issues with how the air is going to flow because we're also going to have fans on the cpu cooler right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave these as the intake fans that's going to pull air straight through the case and i'm going to put one 140 millimeter fan right here this is going to allow air to continuously travel through the back of the case and i'm also going to orient the cpu cooler fans in a way that propel air out towards the back as well so now we have a nice flow of air straight through the back of the case that's going to provide plenty of fresh air to cool all of the components and it's gonna wash over everything that's attached to the motherboard. Now, I don't really wanna put anything down here fan-wise and that's because the power supply is gonna sit here and I kinda want the power supply to just eject the air out of the bottom of the case through the dust filter that's right here. We're not gonna need any additional air coming up through as air coming from the front of the case there's going to be plenty of it. So we're not going to need air to come up through the bottom of the case. What I'm going to do up here is I'm going to install two 180 millimeter fans. You could do two 140 or three 120s, but since it's air cooled, I'm going to go with the big fans up top here so that I can draw air out of the top of the case. Because the one 140 right here is not gonna be able to handle all of the air that's coming through as efficiently as if you added to 180s up here as well. So that's gonna create a nice front to back and front to top airflow. So we're gonna get nice airflow through the whole case. The GPU will have fresh air to deal with, the CPU will, it's gonna run over the RAM, and then all of the NVMe is gonna be under the heat plate. That's going to also get fresh air washing over it as well so for a case like this that's kind of the overall design of your airflow that's how they designed this case to work so it's going to be front to back and front to top and those are going to be exhaust exhaust and intake so this is the height y70 and as you can see there's no front intake with fans that's actually been moved right here to the back side. And this is a typical dual chamber design and it does work really well. So you'll have air intaking through here. It'll come through the case and bounce around the side to the front of the motherboard tray. So on the bottom of these dual chamber cases, there's typically gonna be a way to mount intake fans so that it goes bottom to top and then back side around the front and out the top and back as well. One way to tell, that these are designed as intakes is there's usually gonna be a dust cover that is included on any kind of intake fans so that you can clear out the dust as it pulls the air into the case. So now you have air coming through these fans, coming around to the front of the motherboard, and then you have air coming up from the bottom, and it's gonna go out here and out the top. Most of these cases are gonna have ways to mount fans to the top, Again, radiators as well, but this is about air cooling. So you wanna be able to pull your air in and then extract it out of the, the back and the top efficiently 
That way you have a continuous, well-flowing movement of air through the case. So if you mount the fans in the right places with the right orientations, this case is gonna have excellent airflow as well. It's how these cases were designed. They're engineered very well for that side to front and bottom to top and then out the back and top. That's just how they're designed. Excellent case here, as well as the Fractal Designs North XL. This is more of a water cooling build focus, but again, you can do air in here just fine and it'll work great. Now, one thing you wanna look for on your fans is these arrows and they're gonna indicate the way the fan spins as well as the direction of the airflow. That way you can orient the fan as you're installing it into the case properly. Not all fans are going to mount this way and airflow is gonna come through this way so that you get the nice looking part of the fan the inside of the case. That's not always how it's gonna be. Some fans, the air will come through the cage and out the front here. So you always wanna make sure that you're checking for your arrows here. So in this fan's instance, we would mount the fan like this because your arrows are indicating that this is now an exhaust fan. If you wanted this to be an intake fan, you could put it in this way. So always something to be aware of when you're installing fans, make sure that they're oriented in the way that you have planned out the airflow in your case. A couple wrap up items to discuss. If your fan does not have arrows indicating the airflow, plug the power cable of the fan into a power supply, turn the power supply on and make sure you jump the 24 pin with a proper jumper. That way you can actually turn your fans on outside of the case and you can see which way the air is blowing through the fan and then you can install it accordingly. Another thing to consider is that you want to more or less match the amount of intake fans and exhaust fans. That way you're not overwhelming the system with fresh air and not being able to expel all of the hot air that's being produced by the equipment. So try to match the number of intake fans to the number of exhaust fans. And the last thing is, if you have the ability to have intake or exhaust fans on the bottom of the case, Make sure you make those intake. That way it has enough room to exhaust the air out of the top of the case instead of trying to blast the air into whatever surface the bottom of the case is against. Whereas the air being brought into the case is gonna have a much better time getting brought through the small channel that's available and up through the fans than the air getting blown straight down into the desk or again, whatever surface you have your case on. So again, bottom mounted fans are typically going to be intake versus exhaust it's going to help significantly with your airflow in your case i hope this video was informative and helpful for you if you are new to pc building and you were curious about air cooling in your pc case and how that might work and the best ways to go about that that's all the time i have for today's video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video